Hey everybody, Allison here with Southland Goldens. I'm here for our week five video for our Miley and Jack litter. All the puppies are up, moving around. Uh, just like last week, I want you guys to be able to see them interact with me and how they interact with their litter mates and all the fun things that they're into. I've got Mr. Brown uh, right here saying, I'm slightly spoiled. I love all the attention. He just curled right up in my lap. So figured I'd hold him for a minute. Um, super sweet. But we've got our ribbons on. If this is the first time you are watching one of the videos, they don't normally have these ribbons on. You'll see them scratching because they cannot stand the ribbons. But we do the ribbons because they're collars. Um, you can't see them right now because their coats are starting to get so thick. So the ribbons are so you guys can see who is who. But I've got Mr. Brown right here. This is Mr. Orange, our mama's boy, I know. Mr. Red. And Mr. Blue is over here. Um, I can't reach everybody. We've got Miss Green going to join the pack over here. And then uh, I'll talk to everybody. Over here. Oh, we got, we got purple. Hey, Miss Purple. Hey, you want to play? Oh, what was it? And then uh, over there, guys, I don't know. We got gray as the one walking kind of over here by the lamb shop. And we got yellow and black. I know you guys can't really see them, but um, hopefully that you guys come on. I got I know I got Mr. Brown I've got Miss Purple hey red and orange hey guys hey you playing gray you playing hey guys um so they are actually on their puppy mush now so we are starting the process of weaning them off mama um, they are still nursing. By the time they're six weeks old, they will be completely off of her. So right now what we're doing is we take their puppy food with a little bit of a milk replacement. We blend it up and we let them get used to eating that. By the time they go home to you guys when they are eight weeks old, unless they're staying for training, um, they will be on just regular food, maybe with a little bit of water. Sometimes we have them on a little bit of water. Sometimes they've already gone through that process, but typically within the week of you having them home, you won't have to add any more water um, just to their food. One thing I will say, anytime you are adding water or you are making or you're giving them water to drink, make sure it's not cold water. Um, you want to give them kind of room temperature water. So nothing too hot, nothing too cold. Um, hello, Orange. I know you are a mama's boy and you can't find mama. We've got Mr. Blue over here with the rope. Want to play tug of war? Tug of war? Come on. Oh, he said you're too strong. You don't want to play? Come on. Thought he'd want to play with me. You getting camera shy? <laughs> okay, you can have it back. <laughs> um, anyways, make sure we got our food order. Uh, we got our crate order. We're going to make sure we are crate training these puppies. I say it all the time. I'm not big on them being in crates once they're full grown and they're potty trained and they're out of the chewing everything and into everything phase. But in the beginning, the crate training does help the potty training process. Starting next week when they're six weeks old, we'll actually start crate training them. Um, we start them out for just a few minutes in the beginning uh, just so they get used to being in a crate. And then we kind of move them up so that they learn to hold their potty and to not just go freely. Uh, will they be completely potty trained at eight weeks old? Absolutely not. But it does help them learn that, okay, I can hold it. There are places that I'm supposed to go. It's not just, you know, go to the bathroom whenever I want to go to the bathroom, wherever I want to go to the bathroom. <coughs> Tell them. Get them, Mr. Brown. Get them. Get that lamb child. Nobody wants to come see me. Are we all getting tired? So we just had a meal. So I was trying to get them, because usually right after the meal, they're up and playing, and then within about 10, 15 minutes, they are crashed. So I think we're on that downhill. You can see uh, Mr. Red right here. <coughs> Woo, get him. He was sitting. Miss Yellow, what you doing? Or Mr. Yellow, yeah. Sorry, Miss Yellow. I have to, did I get my colors confused? Yes, I do. Hey. Um, I get easily distracted, guys, in case you can't tell. There's puppies all around. Um. So crate training, we want to make sure we got enough room in the crate that they can stand up, turn around, and lay back down. So we don't want them to be able to go to the back of the crate, go to the bathroom, and then walk back up to the front and lay down because that is what they will do. So we want to make sure they have just enough room. So get the crate with the divider, 
and make sure that we've got just enough room to be able to turn around and lay back down and get super comfy. What do you think, Miss Gray? What do you think, Miss Gray? Yeah. Miley's doing really good. Um, it's about the time where she is, you know, she still loves her, her children, but she's ready for them to uh, stop nursing. Yes, can you imagine? As soon as she walks around them, they are all chasing her. But uh, she is doing really, really good, and the pups are all doing good. Next week, we start our picking process. So what we'll do is after the week six video is posted, uh, first pick, female, first pick male. I'll contact you guys and let you know, hey, week six video has been posted. Um, it's time to make your pick. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them at that time. Hope you guys pick the puppy that best fits you and your family. Uh, after first pick has made their pick, then we'll work our way down just like that. Um, I don't like rushing people, but I do, you know, know that we have other people that are interested in which puppies are going to be available, and so they're going to want to know too. So if you have any questions, um, let me know and we can, uh, we can start going over those so we can try to figure out which one might be a good fit for you guys. Mr. Brown, you are just so playful today. You are just so playful. Hi, man. You want to come see me, don't you? But you're not sure if you want to play. Okay. Um, so we're going to do the same thing that we do each week. We're going to pick them up. We're going to go over their size and their little Personalities, not a lot of change this week. I know last week we had a couple that came out of their shell, um, like Miss Yellow, but uh, they've all stuck pretty true to what we were seeing last week. But still going to pick them up, go over them, and let you guys see them. Hopefully get them up moving around. Um, that's the only ones awake right now are Mr. Brown. That's uh, Miss Gray and Mr. Red down there playing. Hey, guys. And then uh, Mr. Blue has made a pillow out of green right over here. Is that comfortable? Is that comfortable? Is that comfortable? Hmm. We got full bellies. Yes, we do. We got full bellies. All right. So, see if I can stand up here. And we are going to go. We'll go with our uh, with our girls first. So our biggest girl. Are you on play? Oops. Our biggest girl is the one over here. Good morning. Hey. All right, so Miss Yellow is 6.8 pounds. Um, she is our one that really came out of her shell. She is very playful. She's not our most active girl, um, but she is very, very playful, not shy, um, loves people now. Yes. She's our feisty little girl is what we call her. She's got a really fun temperament. So this is Miss Yellow, our biggest girl at 6.8. I'll put her down. Let you, I'm going to turn the, whoops, change the air right here. The temperature too hot. It is 80, I think 82 degrees here today. So um, summertime, I'm loving it. All right, next in size. Well, you are halfway out the crate. Oh, I know. You were almost out. You were almost free. Yes, you were. Um, this is Miss Purple. Miss Purple is 6.4 pounds. She's the one, I don't know if you guys remember her tail, literally, wags non-stop. I am just such a happy, happy girl. You want to, are you too sleepy for your little tail to wag? Are you a waggy tail? Is your tail just a wagging? Yeah. yeah, I bet it was, but we're sleepy. She is middle of the pack, not our most laid back, not our most outgoing. She is a very well-balanced temperament right there in the middle. Super happy to see people. One of the first to greet us when we walk in, her little tail is just wagging nonstop when she does. So this is Miss Purple. Look at Miss Yellow. She said, what are you doing with her? I want you to hold me with her. All right. Or where are you, Gray? You going to sleep now with everybody else? Hi, yellow. Hi, yellow. Okay, there we are. There's Miss Gray. Oh, you guys are getting so heavy. Yes, you are. You guys are getting so heavy. 
All right, so this is Miss Gray. Miss Gray is 6.3 pounds. She is our most laid back female with a very light colored coat. Um, not, not our first to greet us. Uh, she still has a playful side. She's still a puppy. So when I say that they're laid back, that does not mean that they're going to lay on the couch and do nothing all the time. There are still going to be moments where she is running around, having a great time being a puppy dog. She's just not as, you know, outgoing as, as some of the other ones. She's more on the laid back side. So this is Miss Gray, 6.3 pounds with a very thick, light colored coat. You guys were so much easier to hold when you were little bitty. You guys are getting big. You guys are getting so big. They are doing really good with their socialization process. Flipping them over, you see how she is completely relaxed right there. Getting used to new sounds, new people. Uh, next week we'll have our first round of shots, so we will have some of our vaccines. Yes, we will. Okay. Where are you at, Miss Green? Where are you at? You're sleeping. want to wake up. Tell them hey. So this is Miss Green. Miss Green is 5.9 pounds. So we're almost there. We're almost at the six pound mark. She is our most active, most outgoing girl. She is all over the place. Yes, she is. Very similar to um, T Yellow. Yes. Are you about to flush this? She's going to fall asleep. You going to fall asleep when we hold you? If I can't flip her over here, see if I can't get her to go to sleep. She is so sleepy. But she is normally go, go, go all over the place. See if we can't get her to go to sleep for us. I'm starting to fall. You gonna fall asleep or are you just gonna watch everybody? Let's give her just a few seconds. And we are out. She's asleep. Down to sleep. That is what happens when you have a full belly and you play so hard. <laughs> this is Miss Green, our smallest female, but definitely one of our most active puppies from the batch. Look at this. Hey. Oh, you got the puppy breath too. Go back to sleep. She's like, that's not my sibling, but I'll take it. All right, now for our boys. Where are we over here by ourselves? The big chunky monkey. Oh, you are so much heavier than Miss Green. Yes, you are. This is Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue is 7.2 pounds, very similar temperament as Miss Green though. He is the most playful boy that we have with a very white, light colored coat. It's hard to tell with the lighting, I know I say it every week, but he does have a very light colored coat. So people ask about what color will they be when they are full grown. <laughs> Look at their ear color. That is the darkest that their coat will be when they are adults, yes. He's got a very blocky face. So this is our biggest boy, Mr. Blue at 7.2 pounds. I was really hoping you guys would get to see him up playing because right before we started to film, they were all over the place. And I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go. And then of course, you know, as soon as we hit action, right to sleep they go. But that is real life here. We play and then we sleep so hard and then, you know, just a little bit longer, they'll be back up all over the place. 
and then right back to sleep. All right, next in size um, is Mr. Black. Mr. Black is 6.7 pounds. He is very sweet. He loves all the attention from us. Um, he has been the one that has been closer to, you know, us than I guess his litter mates. He prefers our attention than theirs. He still likes dogs. There's nothing, to, not saying that he wouldn't do well with another, another puppy or anything like that. He just loves our attention. Um, he's very laid back, slightly spooled because he wants us to hold him. So this is Mr. Black, laid back boy at 6.7 pounds. I'm gonna lay him over here. Maybe they'll get up and move if they gotta go find the rest of the crew. We'll see, he'll always walk around for a minute. All right, we gotta hunt down my next one. I don't know if you can see this. You might have to come around over here. But look at uh, Miss Green's face where I laid her down. That is some good sleep right there. I think she's snoring a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, now for the mama's boy. If you guys remember every week, Mr. Orange, he was the one in the beginning. One of the first videos, he cried the whole video. Say, I just wanted my mama. He's gotten a lot better about that. So yeah, we're not as much of a mama's boy. We still love our mama and we still want to be close to her. And that's perfectly fine. But this is Mr. Orange, 6.2 pounds. More on the laid back side. He does love his litter mates. He does love mama. He loves being around other dogs. He's very social with us too. So I don't think that there'll be any problems, you know, of him being, you know, any separation anxiety or anything like that. He's just a mama's boy who always wants to sleep pretty close to her. So this is Mr. Orange, 6.2 pounds. All right, I'm gonna set you back over here. Let's see how fast you can get to your litter mates. On your mark, get set, go. Mm. Not super fast, not gonna win a race or anything. All right, Mr. Red, Mr. Red, Mr. Red. Whoop. <laughs> Is it scary? All right, this is Mr. Red. Mr. Red is four pounds. No, I'm sorry. Mr. Red is our fourth male in size. Y'all were probably thinking four pounds. Mr. Red is six pounds. Um, he's a very quiet, kind of keeps himself a little bit more. Laid back boys. Most of these boys are pretty laid back. They're pretty easy going. They're a lot like their mama and daddy. Um, toy driven. Miley loves a toy. Miley will play fetch all day. Um, Jack, their daddy, is our son's best friend. We'll follow him all over. We're on 25 acres and he will follow him all over the place. Um, so they have, they're very similar. Their temperaments are very similar to that. So this is Mr. Red, six pounds. Our quiet, laid back little guy. You looking at me? Let's see if we can get you to sleep too. Pretty big guy. Look at him just look at me. If y'all aren't gonna get to see him up playing, at least you can see their cute little faces as they fall asleep. You're just eyeing me, aren't you? Yeah. Mr. Blue found a toy over there. Hey, somebody's waking up. They are definitely going to be teething when they come home to you guys. So make sure we get toys um, that are durable toys. I really like the Kong brand toys. Um, they make ropes, they make all kinds of toys, they make them for puppies, they make them for adults. So spend that extra few dollars and get the durable toys. Um, they're not going to tear apart and, you know, eat something that's going to harm them. So Kong is my favorite. There's a couple of other really good brands, but um, that one's easy to find. You can find it at your local pet store or on Amazon or pretty much anywhere. All right. Did I cover everybody else? Making sure. This is Mr. Brown, the guy that was stealing the show in the very beginning, but is now sound asleep. Mr. Brown is 5.9 pounds, so 
We only have two that haven't quite hit the six pound mark, but I think they will be there very, very soon. Um, he's our smaller guy with a little bit of a smaller frame, kind of middle of the pack. Um, in the beginning, he was one of our more laid back, but he's really come around. Not as outgoing as some of the others, but definitely not as laid back as some of his brothers. So this is our small guy, Mr. Brown. And I'm gonna sit over here. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Nobody wants to come see me. Everybody wants to come see me, come on. They think I got food. Y'all think I got all the food. You don't love me, you just want the food, right? They're looking around, because normally when we do our feedings, we clap. Look at them. Hey, Brown. To be so small, you're the first one here. Hey. Hey. So we got brown right here. We got red, gray, yellow, blue, purple. Green did not wake up. Orange is over there. And then black's over there. Let's see if I can get back over one more time. Come on, guys. Nobody. I got one taker. One taker. I see you, Mr. Brown. You little social butterfly. Hey. Hey, guys. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Next week is the big week where we start our picking process. Um, so hopefully next week we'll try to time it where they are really up moving around so you can see how they interact with me. You can see how they interact with their litter mates. We are just starting to get to that fun age where we're exploring everything, getting into the toys, um, getting more time away from mom. Uh, but we'll see you guys back here next week for our week six video.